Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do picture-in-picture -in, -picture in VSDC. This is a highly flexible video editor and it's free uh, for most of the features that it offers. It's really a wonderful product and for $20 to buy it uh, for a year, uh, that's uh, 20 bucks a year, that's a great deal for this particular product. We're going to start with a blank project here and what we're going to do is we're going to drag in two video clips. Uh, we're going to drag in, uh, let's see, something that runs for a few seconds here, Adams. And then we're going to drag in another video, Sparkle. That runs a little bit shorter. Now, they're both running full screen right now, and they're both running simultaneously. So the first thing you want to do is create your picture-in-picture -picture video. We're going to use the one that runs on top is the picture-in-picture -picture video. We're going to make it small and you basically snap it to its size here that, and put it wherever you want it. Now once you've got it where you want it, uh, you click play and you've got your picture in picture. Super simple. Now suppose you wanna, you've got a clip that you want to run half screen. Well, that's pretty easy too. You snap that in here snap it to the sides and then bring it out to the middle usually it'll snap right to the middle and then do a stretch which is over here you turn that on and now you've got two videos running side by side one over the top you want to make this one run side, literally side by side and you just select it resize it and tell it to stretch too. If you want them to run like that, however you want to do it, and that's the thing is, you know, I'm sure you could do four clips pretty easily side by side and do a quad effect and have four videos running simultaneously. Be pretty good for an intro or something like that. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and unstretch that one come back here so we can select this one the other thing I like is I mean the flexibility of this program is really nice let's see let's do unstretch on this one so it'll resize properly I think I kind of snapped it back to the way it was now once you've selected this here's another little tip that you can do once you're in here you can select the item and go into the details you know, I'm in it now and let's add some motion to it. Sure. Let's move it right on down here to the bottom. What do you think? All right. And now we go back to our scene. And we come back here. And we say, let's play. And now your video will crawl down the screen. Keep in mind that it treats every video object exactly the same and can do all kinds of flexible stuff. This is an extremely flexible program. I like this one as much as I like uh, Zara, X-A-R-A, -A, Zara. What a great program. Hope you enjoyed the video tutorial. This is Neil uh, signing off.